zero. Oh, this is gonna be so fucked. <laughs> wait, wait! You hear him? You do? You really do? Wait, you do? Is it working? Did we? Was this actually like a genius solution <laughs> to make this work? Purple monkey dishwasher. Radio waves in your bananas. <laughs> Ugly archipelago. Pick one. Write it in. All right. Oh, he I, does. That's, okay. I didn't say right. flapping. I didn't say flapping dog head. Flapping corgi ears. Purple monkey dishwasher. Right, works. There you go. He can hear you. All right. So, okay, Adam, now that we're troubleshooting anyway, how are all the audio settings? Do we have music? Do we have Gib? Do we have me? And is everything audible? Because we've got, we've got viewers coming in, people. We need to sort this out. I'm getting so nervous. No music. God damn it. Um, good words. <laughs> all right, no music. No music. How about now? Do we have music? Do we have more music? Because we're... Also, it seems like I'm frozen on your screen, Sandy. Is it? I, I, the screen I see of you is me frozen, stone looking in one direction. In fact, that's interesting because oh, that's on. not the case. No, never mind. Never mind. I had to hit play on your screen for some reason. <laughs> okay. Give us moving. Yeah, I know. Like, I think because I, I, I've got the stream itself open. Hey, um, Angelo is back. Hey, dude. Hey, Angelo. Um, well, if there's no music, then that's fine. I can live with that. That's perfectly all right. And at least I can dial down the volume in the side. Mm -mm. There's quite a few people in um, in chat or on stream. How's everyone doing, guys? It's a bit of a messy start because we didn't have a given audio, but um, we got it working. I blame Sandy. It's Sandy's fault. It is. It always is. Hashtag blame Locusena, right? The hashtag is there for reason. Hashtag reviews. blame. Truth. Hard truth. But in any case, welcome everyone, welcome in. Uh, today we are doing a giveaway. Um, which will we, we, we will be right away. about that later. Just you no, two, no. that's it. Just like right now, like you have three seconds to, to enter the, the exclamation mark <laughs> join and then you're done. Like if you if you miss the three second window, you're just, you're fucked, you're out. No, we're gonna be talking about that later on because we're not gonna be doing that right now. But in any case, if you wanna do enter the, the giveaway, this is what we will be giving away. There you go. Um, and we will also talk about this little thing later on. I've been I've been teasing this thing in my earlier streams this week. Um, I just dropped it like it's whatever trash there. <laughs> um, what do you mean claim, Adam? What are you claiming and why? Oh shit, I need to, oh man, I need to open the streamer bot. No, you know what? I'm not gonna risk opening my streamer bot for the sake of you guys trying to, to do the George thing like four times a minute. Did I tell you that game um, earlier this week? I, I was streaming. I, how do I? I can't. I can't chat. This is bullshit. You can chat, but then you need to go in stream. I don't want to do that. That's crazy talk. Well, just go to twitch.tv slash sandy underscore butchers, and then you're in stream. Just right, open. A, just be sure work. to open another tab and keep this tab open because otherwise you remove the guest slot. Right. Is that gonna like that's not gonna screw us up because like two inputs or anything weird is it? Well, no, it, it's only gonna be, it's, gonna, it's gonna fuck it up on your end of the of the sound. I'm just curious <laughs> what the timing is gonna be like. This is I'm, we're we're uncharted waters now, people. All right, hang on. Here. <laughs> we are just exploring. I oh, see half our viewers already left because of this shit show. Damn it. How is this gonna How is this gonna work? <laughs> He's going to get it and then send it to yeah, you. Yeah, I'm oh. hearing you. I am definitely hearing you seconds. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, the delay is huge. It, it, that is true because the stream is behind. So maybe not do that. No, I don't have the, <laughs> I, George. That's, no, it, I, I switched that off because people were abusing that. And I, <laughs> I, need to, I need to fix that. Jesus Christ, my stream is a mess. Everything is broken and I need to fix stuff. And I have not fixed the George yet. Thanks to Adam. All right, then I'm just I'm coming back into like... the just I I'm 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 jumping out of that stream because if I can't yeah. type in and make anything good, fuck it. No, it's fine. It's so, fine. Yeah, we um, look, we lost we, man, we lost everybody. Look. It's just gone. I There's did nothing there. Mr. Adam, I did mute it on my side, but like it's weird enough that Sandy and I have about us. Like when we have a private conversation on Discord, 
everything it's cutting it cutting edge of the art no latency whatsoever the moment we hook up on twitch there is like a 0.5 second delay between what i'm saying versus what's appearing and vice versa when i open up the twitch browser it's like a five second delay and it's maddening i can't <laughs> <laughs> so but how does this work now then because you are reading the chat from somewhere because otherwise oh yeah no here's the thing so as in the Twitch guest star bullshit thing that I'm in right now, yeah, uh, I can see the I can see the chat window on my side. I can't enter anything. Uh, and the thing is, like, I've got two I got two uh, uh, vision boxes. One is myself, which is yeah. weird. Two is the stream, my, which is yeah. fine. If I am big in your stream, the text is so small I can't read it. So I have to leave it in this weird situation so I can actually read the stream on the right, okay. and then yeah. But, but it's, the, it's, I, it's, I think the whole thing problem. of you being yeah. a guest is that you can talk back to people so you don't have to type to people. So basically you only need to read uh, the chat. As long as you well, can read I it, don't want to type. I don't, I don't want to type now that I can't do the George thing. That's fine. You don't need to type. You just need to talk. <laughs> That's what I... I hired you to talk, so you will talk, damn it. Uh, horse <laughs> shit. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how's everyone? How are you, Gib? I don't think I even asked that today. How are you? You did not, you cruel person. God damn it. This woman is awful. Uh, I don't know I'm why good, you guys man. are in my you stream. Know, I... This is the... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Uh, I'm good, man. Uh, <laughs> took my kid to school today. Uh, started to get some writing done on my next villain's book. Um, nice. And then I had to stop everything I was doing, do the laundry real fast. Did not get the vacuuming done like I wanted to. And time to hop over here to do this so so i'm keeping you off your work again <laughs> i'm a good house husband <laughs> yes, slash <you> writer <laughs> yeah wait, which one comes in the first place are you are you the household man or are you the writer <laughs> which comes uh well it's uh, it, it, am i taking a nap that day it really depends um <laughs> you know i, I I like to take care of all the children. Well, I break it all up. It's all in one thing. So after I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm chauffeur for my son to get You're him to school. You're a household author. Yeah, I'm a household author. Then I come <laughs> home and like I write for a couple hours. Uh, I or I either come home and work out and then write. Mm. But on Sun I do every other day. So then it's like, or I write for a couple of hours, do the dishes, do the laundry, do the vacuuming, go back to writing for a couple hours, and then when mm. the family comes home. Uh, I hang out with them for a while when they were all only children, my wife, my son, my, we're all only kids. So everybody goes to their own separate corners of the house. And that's when I usually have fine time to game or watch a movie or sometimes just go back to writing a little bit. Or take a nap. How about you? <laughs> oh no, the nap's usually around one o'clock. If I can fit in a nice, like 45 hour, minute, hour nap, right around one to two. Oh, that's so I'm actually, sweet spot right there. So, so we're actually taking away your nap today. Cause this one where you are. Oh right? yeah, you are. No, 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 no. I, I slept well last night, okay. but yeah. All right. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, right. yeah how are you what's what's new and improved with you i'm all right i'm 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 a bit um i'm, I'm busy <laughs> i've got i've got so much to do man i mean yeah you do I, i'm okay <laughs> i'm okay but i'm busy yeah, but i'm busy it's um, february 3rd already why is this why are we not done why are we what why are we not done what with what yeah with the book i don't know how many all of the pieces you got a lot of work to do woman <laughs> Why are we not working? All right, let's switch. Hang on. This is my work for today. Can you see that? So what are we? You have? No. Well, you have, you have. The stream hasn't, the stream hasn't. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You're watching my virtual camera. So you are watching, um, just my my desktop but the stream is a different screen than what you saw a moment ago hey who is in as well and adam says good work thanks adam she's not done because you keep making her add more fur thanks angelo i needed that <laughs> um who is cheering look at me i'm earning money i'm earning money today i'm dude <laughs> who who is an awesome streamer by the way He's, he plays a lot of Destiny 2, and I think recently he was, he, <laughs> he, main, he mains the game, that's what he mains. Character is the most like the author. <laughs> Gib, you can answer that one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Um, okay, I did not expect that answer, but sure. <laughs> saying you're muted again and i don't know why just like that just like that it mute you did you mute yourself <laughs> did you accidentally mute the button this is the weirdest shit people you broke it. i didn't do anything oh wait oh no i know what happened wait <laughs> this is me being an asshole hang on guys bear with me i swear i stream sometimes but this is my first time streaming with the live guest view yes i did break it i did break it i will fix it though i will fix it this is awful. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Hang on. There. He should be back, guys. He should be back. <laughs> he can't get his fur when he's not taking it. <laughs> what? 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 All right. What? What? All right. I was answering that, and all of a sudden it stopped. So how far back? But with feeling. Fuck. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Uh... <laughs> Let me see. So, uh, I, so, so, where were we? the, 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 who's the main like you? And then it was self-inflicted, blah, blah, blah. And then you went from there with the with Right, the right, right. So obviously, I, I, yeah, I was joking. I was like, I'm the bouncer that gets that Salem beats up. Um, uh, it's all my life. I've, I've got like, you know, I'm, I've been a gamer. I've been a writer or making drawing pictures. And I, I constantly people with backstories. So I had this idea of like, you know, like a rogue like character from my old, my old gaming day. So obviously that comes from your own psyche. And Salem was that guy. And when I first started writing, it was a bit of a power fantasy, and I hated it. I hate power fantasies. I don't like when the t the lead tough guy or tough gal is so overpowered that nothing affects them, nothing hurts them. They like, I like the old pulp detective stories of like the 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 the, the boozy detective from the forties or thirties who like are from the like late forties, like after the wars, like an alcoholic gets beat up and still smokes a cigarette after like just nursing his bruises. So Salem became a combinations of like my own like self-loathing <laughs> like what would, what would we be like what would a nerd be like in the apocalypse so i mean yeah salem's a part of me but like technically so is every other character since they're all like aspects or things you come up out of your own head i think in general if you would ask any author like oh do the characters look like you i mean of course they do because they come from you like they are right some and there are always some form of reflection of yourself no matter how twisted messed up funny or whatever they are oh sure they're always based on something you initially draw from yourself, I would say. Maybe there are huh. authors there that, I don't know, can do that differently, but I don't know. It makes sense. At least to me. But then again, I am also a writer, so I'm not sure. Well, yes, you are. Like one of my <laughs> one of your first pictures you did of Salem, uh, when my friends like, Hey Gib, who was the model? And like, cause you had picked what I looked like when I had hair, which was weird. So it had a, like, I had a reminiscent of a young me. So he thought it was like a real self. And so like, no, she just picked Jensen Ackles. I just had a similar hairstyle back when I had hair. So, uh, before I start shaving it down. Okay. Salem's, like, Salem Salem's taller. Like you now. No, 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 not really. I mean, he's taller. He's better looking. I mean, you can say a lot of things, but you don't really look like Jensen Ackles. No, I do we, not. We would be calling much more often if you look like Oh, Jess right, Angus. right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, right. Like, with, with, with my nose, I'm more like Chris Evans, like ugly stunt double. Um, <laughs> like for, yeah, from you can, like. You can pass uh, for, for Thor. You can pass for Thor. Well, no, I think with, the, with this look particularly, especially with my beanie on, it's like, uh, it's like if they needed the stunt double from uh, what was that movie he did with a train, uh, Snowpiercer. That's, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I get. So cool. Well, no, not really. Maybe a bit. I was being derogatory. I was being self. I was being self derogatory. You know that's okay. All right. It's okay. <laughs> but so, what are we looking at? What is anyway, this illustration? I don't know. It's so small on my screen. Let me even big in it. <laughs> well, you chose. Nah, one, this. So you know which one. I'm is. teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. Well, it looks like you're taking a beautiful picture and like just rubbing charcoal over everything. What what are you doing? No, uh, rubbing charcoal. I'm, I'm teasing you. Virtual charcoal. Uh, this was a fever dream of a scene that I wrote where I, uh, right, I think it was chapter three, maybe four. 
Okay, I got it right the second time. Give me a break. Woman is that's, wrote it in twenty six. Well, chill, chill. it came out in twenty sixteen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wrote this almost nine years ago, like with like the first drafts, you know, and it didn't come out till twenty sixteen. So okay. maybe it might have been twenty thirteen when I first wrote it. Fuck it, so it been, might have been ten years ago. It was anyway, um, sixteen though first. Yeah, yeah, but I bounced from like publishing, like after I got picked up in twenty fourteen by a publishing house. Like, and then I got jerked around for a couple of years mm-hmm. and then had to bounce from two, like three total published houses before this book even came out. Long story short, this was written like t- over 10 years ago. So, mm-hmm. um, the first draft anyway. Uh, but this was, uh, after Salem accepts the job from Father Grimm, he tracks, he's go to, he goes to a location with this whatever item and he, he's bored and he has a moment of introspection and he remembers um what it was like before g-day and when g-day happened and you know it it was my big exposition dump which is kind of a no-no now in writing or or even back then like i would if i if i had to write it all over again i would have doled it out a little bit more but i kind of liked that scene because at that time i was like again i was going for that pulp detective vibe where the person's got a moment like going on though i mean the action and the pacing of that chapter there was nothing wrong with that at all i would say Oh no! Some people don't like the exposition dump because it's like you know, it's a it, it's a tell. Don't it's a it, I told versus show, but it's hard to tell uh, unless you have actual flashbacks of that moment. Which I understand in some writing that would work, but it kind of I didn't want to do. Too, I already had flashbacks. I already had flashbacks when Salem became Salem when he got injected and his yeah. parents and blah blah blah. And I didn't want to bog it down with more flashbacks. Mm-hmm. The, each one of those flashbacks was under like you know five hundred words. It was like this thing that da da da. Now back to the action. Yeah, they're, they're bit style. And if I was going to do flashback to actual G-Day, that I mean, if this was a movie, yeah, you would totally do that. But you don't you don't have time for that. You've got a story to tell. Exactly. And it's like you, you want movie. to keep it tight. It's, the budget would be too huge. So, uh, but anyway, Salem comes out of his, like his, his depressed reverie of, of memory when he hears a clicking and clanking and he looks over the edge of the building to see mechanical ants coming for him. And then he's like, he's got to basically fight his way free of mechanical ants and get over from one building to a next. And Sandy took obviously took that scene and did this uh, bit of badassness, which I loved because like I love all our art. Don't get me wrong, but this one has like I like this one because it's like you, he's leaping. It's a it's got it's a it's a something in motion, and I like that comic style. Like uh, it just looks cool doing it. You know, he definitely has an oh shit moment in like what's going on. Like he's he's got grim determination, but like it's the it's the folds of the clothes. It's how he's hopping off. It's like the ant leaping after him. You know, you can like feel the the kinetic energy of it, and that's why I liked it so much. Yeah, I, I like this one too. It's like you said, there there's just a lot of action, whereas um, you know I always try to sort of capture a specific scene and then show as right. much of the scene as I can in a single image. Um, so, for right. example, the one that I streamed the other day, where Salem walks into Dante's and there's Jensen sitting outside and there's the crowd outside and you know all those things happening. Um, some of the illustrations tend to focus on one specific element if that makes sense because i just said like i tried to capture the whole scene and now i say well you know really up close but sometimes the scene is really up close and what i really liked about this particular scene is that it was so wide like the view on everything that was happening was just wide you could see everything there was just a lot Mm -hmm. of stuff going Mm -hmm. on and well, for this illustration, that was what I wanted to capture. So I've, I've got the buildings, I've got the ants, I've got Salem jumping down. Like, there was just so much happening. And I I mean, it was a pain to, to get the composition right, but I do kind of like where at least the line art is so far. I mean, I'm still shading, so we don't know the end result yet. But um, Right, right, right. Well, pencils and erasers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm cleaning it up as we go, so I'm already erasing stuff. <laughs> Also, did I ever tell you what I took as um, inspiration behind these ants? Did I ever tell you? You did not. I did not? Oh my god. So, you've all played Skyrim, haven't you? Of course. So you know the, the, the Dwemer the Dwemer spiders? Yep. That's what I took as base model. So I, I basically looked at how they were put together and how they moved and walked. Like, how that was mechanically put together um and i started to to do the ends from there um 
So there's a, there's a little piece of fandom hidden in the anatomy of these things. Oh, crap. There we go. That's awesome. Because, like, I mean, I remember, like, Skyrim. <laughs> oh, Skyrim. You bastard. Like, my wife referred to herself oftentimes, like, this is before, obviously, this game was 10, the original Skyrim was, like, four, like, what, 12 years ago? No, 13 much years longer. ago? I think, they didn't, didn't I get the, the 15th anniversary, or maybe even the 20th anniversary? It's old. Skyrim No, it's old. not 20. It's, no, it's, it's, not, it's not 20. No, wait, I think I bought the 10-year anniversary, so by now, it should be 15. Let me see. Look, look that up. If only I had a device in front of me that could tell me. Right. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim original publication. Let's see. Came out in 2011. So, so 13 years. Okay, 13 years. So, okay. Yeah, I was so like, let's, it's not even, it's not even 13 years, not until November. Anyway, point is, like, this came out like shortly after we got married. Um, and then, so she, my wife referred to herself as a Skyrim widow. And, <laughs> I mean, I, and I played so much of that damn game. Well, like she, we're both only children, so she hates nerd stuff. She hates pop culture, nerd, uh, fantasy. She is well. It's not no. It works out great. Are you kidding me? She we we don't really watch TV together. She's got her own things that she enjoys. Mm. Uh, some things we like overlap. So when she wants to go read a book about, you know, starving kids in Botswana, I'm like, all right, great. I'm gonna go play Skyrim. You know. And, you know, she'll tell me about the starving kids later and that's fine. And I'll learn, but I don't have to, like, it's kind of like, she'll do the homework for me, like the nerd and tell me about it. I'm going to go geek out. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I played so much of this damn game. I remember I was being chased by a dragon. I was way under level and I ran through a mountain, through the cave, <laughs> through into a troll, into fought a the troll, troll yeah. got to the... <laughs> Got to the other side of the mountain. The dragon had flown over the mountain and followed me. Fuck. And, and I ran, <laughs> I ran down into the, the the village at the base of the hill. The village, I mean, the AI was great. The village was like dragon, and all the villagers like and responded and started throwing. <laughs> well, no, they they killed the dragon. I got a couple of hits and I got credit for the kill. And nice. I was like, this is great. Like Make this, the game like, work this is you, the height right? of gaming. Yes. Also, wait, yes. there is there are, there are a couple of or there, there is at least one. Pretty cool question in chat, by the way. I don't know if you if you still can see What's it. What's up? Um, Adam asked, which illustration did Sandy get wrong, like way wrong with the first draft? Do, I, Jensen. I don't think it's one, though. I think we have many. We have multiple <laughs> versions of that. So, well, I mean, one no, it's one of those like she, Jensen. <laughs> what, like my that first, first sketch of Jensen? <gasps> Sir, what was wrong with my first Jensen on the turtleneck? <laughs> No, sorry, not Salem. Oh, I thought you said like not Salem. Salem. Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. I said Jensen. Repeat oh, the words Jensen. after oh, me. God. Not Jensen Ackles, motherfucker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, oh God, yeah. Okay, let me. Do I still? Oh man. Thank um, you. Um, um, where do I? I have that somewhere. Let me, let me, let me pull up the first sketch of that. Um... All right, Mr. Adam. Uh, opposites. Wow, opposites. Opposites in what way? I think it was referring to you and your wife right so he's not the nerd and he's on this channel no no and his okay. wife is the gamer and he and no, he's you, like, like I, I, you that's, and, that's, and your wife like you you are opposites oh we are opposites okay i thought okay i thought he meant like his life was opposite okay yes we are we have a lot of opposite like things it's great that way because we have enough differences that um the similarities really mesh up but we can enjoy our our uh, respective uh, uh, hobbies in private. I'm an only child. I don't believe in sharing. His, like you're fuck. I, you're lucky. I'm working with Sandy, because like this, I don't. I don't like sharing my toys. Um, God, hang on. I'm multitasking here. I'm trying to pull up. So, okay. So this was the very first sketch <laughs> I made for Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts yeah, Club band visor. I, I, just, I didn't know what to do with this guy. And then I had these goggles, these glasses. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I got to start somewhere. I got to start somewhere, right? I mean, I, I just don't know where. So I just did whatever. Um, and I I remember this was... this. It was so bad that we actually called about this. Uh, <laughs> like, usually... <laughs> It's like some JoJo Bizarre's adventure. Okay. Like, usually we just hop on chill. I show you something in chat and you're like, yeah, well, but yeah, but no, but yeah, but no. And then we'll, you know, we'll sort it out. 
and then but for gents you were like hell no we need to we need we you and i need to talk you know <laughs> well i think i think i mean i can i can pull the chat logs initially and i think i was kind of first like um it's interesting uh no, no the, i mean what what he turned into was fantastic but it was one of those like i i I had uh, was the nicest way. Like I appreciated the work and the effort, but I wasn't feeling this image. So that's what you had not, and you still probably haven't, because uh, you've been busy. Uh, you had not read book <laughs> four yet. So you did not get to like Jensen's big reveal. So fans who've read the series know Jensen's big reveal in book four in one piece yeah. at a time. So I had to basically like say, hey, this is what jensen eventually becomes is and reveals to be you're like oh okay and once you had that armor that knowledge boom you crank this out lickety split you know there we go now they're they're side by side yeah he uses the visor to, to disguise his face and all the implants and it's all yeah so because I, I i did give him like mechanical eyes but it made him look like you know he was completely cross-eyed just being weird oh yeah i saw that i was like, <laughs> like derpy, 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 derpy. yeah yeah jensen was a bit of a weird weirdy <laughs> so um so, yeah i think this is a good example of something that i just completely bombed yes mr adam he's a cyborg yeah yeah, but I, I I don't know how it. I don't know if you have read how far you've read. Never gonna read. Don't care. Just like Sandy's art. That's fine too. So I don't want to spoil any things. It's just those who've read as far as book, book four know that character's uh, true nature and true background. He's up to something. There's stuff happening with this guy. True. Yes. Yeah. And I will keep my mouth shut. <laughs> oh man. I don't want to spoil things, but I sometimes it just happens. I don't know. I, I cannot help it. Uh, You're like the Mark Ruffalo of this project. So. Am I? No, isn't it the, well, the, the Spider-Man guy who always uh, gets punched in the face? Because it's well, well, it's it's both of them. Ruffalo and, and Tom Holland both yeah. are like <laughs> uh, notorious for uh, revealing things that ought to be revealed. So. Oops. <laughs> That's all by my book. So wait a minute, she is the nerd. I'm missing the joke here, Mr. Adam. Okay, by the book. Opposites in what way? <laughs> what? Are you are you back to the opposites comment? Well, what? that it, that that comment makes me believe that uh op like my original assessment of, of my life and my wife's life are the opposites of Mr. Adam and their respective partner. Or this, he, or they are just carrying on the joke or the bit and making me look stupider by the second. <laughs> oh, well, they're also available in audiobook. Um, <laughs> I don't have the patience to read. My adult ADD has kicked in so bad uh, that, that uh, sitting down to read has been a real pain for the last couple of years. For reading. So I... I yeah, well, it is. It's it's. I can sit there and do. I can sit there and write because mm -hmm. that's an active engagement kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm, for some reason when I'm reading, I would go. I would do it this way, or I don't like this, or like what's this, or what's going on over there. Ah, that, that's boring. I'm gonna skip down. My eyes. I have a hard time focusing. You know, when I'm doing art, when I'm writing, not a problem. But reading, my brain just starts jumping around. So audiobooks have been my saving grace. I burn through a lot of audiobooks. Plus, I usually have like a. I drive my son to school. We listen to music. He talks. We talk. On my way back, I've got a 40-minute drive home, so I've got dead time to listen to audiobooks. And when I'm doing my chores, I do audiobooks. And often when I'm working out, I work. I listen to audiobooks. So I, I get a couple of hours of book time in a day. Yeah, so you can you basically devour audiobooks. Pretty yes. Much. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I have a weird admiration for people who can listen to audiobooks. Because here's the thing. I'm the complete opposite. If I want to like know a story or, or if I want a story, I have to read the book because right. audiobooks require my full attention because otherwise I will miss it and I will not register what is being said. So it, it takes up my complete attention span and I can just not multitask while listening to an audio. See, I don't know. Well, he's, I, I believe you. I can. Yeah. Right. When I'm in the car and when I'm driving and I got an audiobook, I will forget the rules of the traffic. I will forget what can I let me ask you let me ask you a quick question. What? Uh what let me ask a quick question. What kind of grades did you get in school? 
school. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the European Union school system's like. I don't know if it's like primary, secondary, tertiary. I don't know if it's weird thing. Like in the States, you know, you have good grades, you get wizarding levels. I don't know how y'all do it, but uh, like, okay. uh, so grades in terms of like, was I a good student or was I mediocre? Or yeah. Did you get high mark? Did you get decent marks in school? Yes and no. Um, okay. I was, I, so, okay. My memory is insane. So I didn't really have to study. I could like read the book and then do the test because I would remember it anyway. Um, right, right, right. But I mean, we all reach that certain age where <laughs> we just don't want to do shit anymore. So I didn't even, I will say this. Th the, yeah. The reason I say this, um, my wife's a teacher and she was the straight A student who could read the thing, regurgitate the thing and do the thing. Mm -hmm. My son and I are both daydreamers. He and I have, but we have the same superpower. Mm -hmm. I can be daydreaming. You'll say, Mr. Gibson, are you paying attention? And I'll immediately recall the last 30 seconds of what, like, like I just listened to the recording in my head from the last 30 seconds. Like, oh yeah, you were talking about this and this and this. Wasn't listening at all. Um, no. <laughs> Audio books are like that. I can passively listen and still retain the knowledge active reading is a chore. So I, I, I'm not gonna say it's a guy thing or a girl thing, but I know there are some people who can passively learn information and those who can only give information from active learning. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not an active, active learner. learner. I'm an active and learner I am not. And I have a picture brain. So I, ideally I need to draw something out and then I will learn. I definitely have the picture brain. If you show me, here's the thing, if you make me read a documentary about World War II, I'm gonna like, uh, Hitler bad. But if you let me watch like the, the, the history channel, like, you know, uh, vi with visuals and things, and here's how like mm -hmm. the Rommel came over the desert in this way, I will remember to my dying day. Cause I've seen it. I heard it. I have a visual brain and it's presented in video format. I'm yeah. good to go. Yeah. Or if you let me listen to an audio or a podcast on it, I'll remember it. So, but yeah. reading and, it from a book, I have the I, hardest because time. Because I remember it and I, I suck it all up while listening to it. I cannot do anything else at the same time. And, and, and this is weird because I am, I am a complete scatterbrain. I can do a million things at a time. I mean, you know, this, <laughs> yeah, yep. you know, we know each as other, soon as yeah. the audio book, <laughs> my brain just checks out, man. It's, uh, it's weird. It's super weird. That's weird. Cause it's like, there are some, there are certain studios, like, like one of my favorite right now is sound, uh, sound booth theater. I mean, obviously my own books would they're narrated by the great Jeffrey Kafer in case you ever listens to this. He's fantastic. That being said, Jeff Hayes and Sound Booth Theater with Andy Ellicott and those guys, they do a phenomenal job with like doing voices, little little sound effects, a little visual of the mind. They don't overproduce it, but it's really well done. Like when I, I like when I met that Matt Dinneman, the guy that wrote Dungeon Crawler Carl, I got to hang out at the last convention and drink and bullshit. Mm -hmm. His books are fantastic on, on audio, just fantastic. So if you're not going to get mine, get his. But he's rich. He doesn't need that. <laughs> he doesn't need the money. I mean, we're starving <laughs> artists. <laughs> we need it. Basically. Like... <laughs> oh, man. Dream big. Perhaps someday our starving artist days are over. Oh, we lost viewers. What the fuck? <laughs> Again? Really? You see, we start talking about money we're... and everybody's like, hell no, I'm out. Oh, I know. Like, fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, fuck oh, we got one back. All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, no, we were at seven, we went down to five, now we're to six, and I'm sure you're one of them. It's fine, We've so. just, we, we just started. Oh, shit, no, we did not just start. We've been in it for 40 minutes. No, we're oh, four my. minutes in. What? I feel like I started like 10 minutes ago. I, 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 Plus, <laughs> where, there, we, where's the, there's no foreign state in here. I don't see Leroy, I don't see Crypto. Crypto's not even on. I, I, well, Crypto said he might pop in, though, so maybe he's gonna, I don't know. We can we can pull him in, I will, I will stalk him on Discord saying, dude, you promised you would come, where are you? <laughs> in Wall Street, we used to say, you don't need the money. <laughs> you don't need the money. <laughs> yeah. No, it'd be nice. It would, right? I mean, you know what? So, so I'm going to, I'm going to make the, the worst, the worst connection to what we're saying to, and, and between what we're saying. Oh, I'm going to see about. how long does it take? Let's see. Make it good. Make it good. I'm listening. Make, make it good. No, I mean, like. We are starving artists, so we need the money, which is why we set up the Indiegogo. <laughs> I was waiting for that mental gymnastics. I want to see how you did it. Did she stick the landing chat? I don't know if she did or not. Probably not because I so, suck at that. So, so yeah, we um, we have decided to do an Indiegogo. Like that was we've been actually we decided like months ago. Seven out of ten. All right. Ooh, I'll take it. six. I'll take fuck, it. I'll take man. It. I'll take no, it. that's not I'll good. Take, no, I mean, good. like, six someone there's a Russian judge to give you a four. Ass. No. 
<laughs> oh god so many months ago we talked about doing an indiegogo and we even met with some friends of mine who uh work uh let's hear the pitch oh the pitch <laughs> No, no, keep keep talking. That this is this will be the All right. this is building up toward the pitch. And yeah, we're building to the like, okay. you gotta listen to setting the whole setting thing. the scene. Exactly. All right. You gotta listen so, to the whole thing. Well, here's the thing. Sandy started doing some art and I said, Hey, would you like to do uh the illustrate I could like I, uh, Amazon offers a, a hardback option, you know, and I would love to do a hardback illustrated version of this book. You know, we could do it in the paperback, but let's make it something special. And she said, sure, but you know, are we, are we gonna sell any copies? Like, I don't know, man, like it, it, maybe some, you know, and, but she loved the project, she loved the work, so she agreed to start doing it. But as the time went on, I was like, one of our common friends we met through another stream told us like, why don't you do an Indiegogo? We're like, well, we're not really experienced with that, but they were, they do a lot of Indiegogo campaigns for independent comic book creators. And they gave us a lot of the basics of things we needed to know. Uh, we'll eventually do us when we go live with our thing, it's we'll stream with them about, you know, we're going live. Here's the thing, buy our shit. But through this Indiegogo idea of ours, yeah, but no, well, but that, that's the thing. Yes, but we give you more value because if you go through the Indiegogo, like we decided, like, why not give people like some like uh some art or sign book plates because we can't just i can't come to your house and sign the book i can't okay. unless yeah. you bring it to me at a convention Sa Here I was hoping and sandy can't do the same thing unless you bring it to her at a convention so um but if we did like you know a, a cool we make our own cool book plate we i sign a bunch you sign a bunch we mail them to each other so we have signatures we can do the meet the cast pdf we can do three by five or yeah three by five prints and four by six prints we can do some other cool stuff but what if at like level three we send you a copy of the book and everything else and at level four you get even more exclusive art you know um and like but what else is enticing people like well if like there's like a five dollar tier and that's just a thank you tier that is thank you for being a supporter to us and like that but at starting at five dollars just even if you don't want the book like i don't really want the book but thank you for what you do but i'll give you five bucks your name will go into the book your name will go into the back section thank you this could not be made would not be possible without people so you will forever be more and memorialized with everybody else who backs this project and as you can see on the screen uh these are not the actual pictures these are placeholders you know as we're still working on the thing Except but so the like plate. there's the, the book plate is actually does look like the book yeah that is that will be the yeah. book plate and that's an example of our signatures the, but we will sign them we will re-sign ourselves we will Indiegogo is like yeah indiegogo is like kickstarter but kickstarter is if you don't reach a certain funding goal um the the project's over no everybody's money gets refunded no problem found. no we're making this book and we'll send like it, it so it's just to raise money and awareness and for some ways it's also a way to go around amazon because we have to use a publisher or a printer basically to make these books and that shit gets expensive and amazon unfortunately is the cheapest way to go because if i if we also publish through them they do print on demand books but what we can do is get copies at a discounted rate and apply that with everything else to send to you. So at level, th the book's going to go live for $35 on Amazon in the beginning of June. You support to the Indiegogo and you get from tier three and above, which is $30 and then like some shipping and handling, you get everything and the book. So technically cheaper than Amazon. And oh, that way you don't have to support them directly. Yeah. I mean, minus the shipping and handling of fees, of course, but like the, the, the tiers $3 or $30, I think it's $10 shipping and handling, mm -hmm. but you get so much more for your, you so much more value. And that's what we've been trying to do with this Indiegogo is like, how much value can we give people, uh, for just appreciate, like for their time and their effort and their money, you know, mm -hmm. you can buy the book. Sure. Great. Go to Amazon, buy the book, but do it through this for the 60 days when it goes live, you get so much more. And we like everybody's been really cool and you've been cool. And like, I mean, I like extra art and I want extra PDF and I, I want all that same shit in my house. So I mean, it, this is a very convoluted. Oh, did it come your way? By well, way? but did, you, did it arrive? It, it has not arrived yet. So I didn't even get the Christmas card you sent me. So That's I don't stupid. know. That's really stupid. I'm starting to think you don't know my address anymore. No, it's so. stupid because you got, no, 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 no. You got the art print before, didn't you? Yes. Do not give me shit then. Because I know your address. Because I sent you the art print. Yeah, I got the Singularity one. It's right here. Right. So, so how is it? I mean, it's the same address. You didn't move places, so it should, it should get there. Exactly. 
But it's the same thing. I mean, um, uh, King Bradley won the art print the other day on stream, and it still hasn't arrived there, oh, cool. has it? So and I think mail services in general are just being a pain where you do not wish to have pain. That sucks. It is, yeah. But, um, so this thing. What is this thing? Yeah. Because this is part oh, of the I, IDG, I, isn't it? And this is this is something you'll get. I'm sorry, I need to I need to clarify. So this is a little booklet, and it's now a paperback. But what you get with the IGG is a um, digital version of what I have here in my hands. So what is this? Um, also, Adam, it is the worst part is I had to I had to big in the screen because your screen is covered by your Twitch name, says Andy Butchers. I can't see you at all unless I am big in the screen. Okay, never mind. All right, I saw what you're shaking. Cool. That is the Meet the Cast 69 page art and text. Like it's a lot of art. It's, a, it's the characters, everything, some of the things that Sandy has been sketching, her concept art, the concept sketches, some of the finished sketches for the, some of the things you've seen on stream, but now in the print form in color. And it is dope. And I want my copy and I'm mad that I don't have it. Can y'all see that shit? Flip that is. Keep talking. You're good. <laughs> no, I, I'm in, I'm admiring the art. Like I, it's, it's one of those, like we, we, we tinkered, we toyed like, so a lot of some of those folks who signed up for the, the earlier newsletter, you'll see, like, you remember saw like, like, Hey, introducing Valley and they'll give a name or Vidar and they'll give a little description. Well, that was me writing it, Sandy doing the art. And we started blending them together. We wanted to go into like a, a like an art booklet. So, you know, if you get the Indiegogo at, at any level, you get a you get a digital copy of this. Okay. So if you want to print, so you want to print it on your own, go for it. But you get a digital copy of this regardless. Now there's only yeah. Someone today is going to win uh, an actual copy, an actual a, phys a physical yes. copy. Yeah. Yes. Um, so if you want to win, all you need to type down in chat is exclamation mark join, and I will just quickly verify. Yep, Mr. Adam has entered. It's in there. Um, so that works. Yeah, yeah, Adam, you already joined. You, you can only win one book. <laughs> you can well, only win one. He's like, you have, join, join, did you join, type join. In, <laughs> did you type in join there, uh, <laughs> Angelo? You're just oh. making sure. All right, all right, all right. Um, I did give a bonus for people who are sub to the channel, by the way. So if you want more, you want a better chance, then sub to my channel. And, right. You know, you're... Oh, look at that. Autumn Ray is back. Hi. All right, now it's your turn to do the pitch all over and go. What, what, what? Do we, we do the whole thing again? So what is this? What are we, what are we looking at? No, I just started, <laughs> started Indiegogo. For, in the beginning, right. there was Heavens and the Earth. We should have and recorded then came this and just play back the video. God, I know. <laughs> this is off. I mean, streamers live is awful. We keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Why are we here? <laughs> it is. It's like, it's like a radio DJ bullshit back in the right. day. Join 3,000 submissions. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, but so, then, yeah, so Autumn Ray's in. Sorry, you were saying something as well. No, 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 no. I was I was just vamping anyway. No, you actually have something to say. Go for it. No, I was just going to say, hey, welcome in, and how are you doing? How is the How did the dentist thing go, and are you still alive and kicking? <laughs> Should already be going. Yes, I know, I know, and Autumn Ray, it's, it's on its way, but we just realized that mail services are being an absolute pain. So I do hope it will make its way to you quickly. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming then Autumn is one of your Patreon supporters. Yeah. There's another way people who don't win this competition, go support Sandy at Patreon and get yourself a copy the, the old fashioned way. Still possible. Oh, look at that. The king is in. Look at that. <laughs> don't come in here to poop. <laughs> Just pooping in. Drop the lurk. Thanks for the lurk though, dude. Always appreciate it, and I hope you have fun on your night out. What? No, foreign state doesn't go out. Foreign state streams. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> what in the world is happening? <laughs> yeah. State, where are you going? You don't. That's bullshit. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> he's left us. He's just he's just out. What are we going to do now without just, foreign state? Just in and out. Oh, God. Just like my first time all over again. <laughs> I 
I think I, I don't I don't know. Is it the, this kind of stream? <laughs> and the second should, time, third time, pretty much every should time. I, should I put in a, a rated R? <laughs> I've been cursing like a drunken sailor, oh, so I apologize. <laughs> I mean, I hurt myself. I, yeah, maybe we should put in a disclaimer next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give is a foul mouth. I, I mean, I can turn it off if, you, if that's your preference. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? Queen of Eagles is falling. Oh, I know Queen of Eagles. Hey, how are you doing? This is one of my That's my just Dutch, a dope Dutch name. Dutch art buddies. Yeah. This is, this is one of my Well, my Dutch art buddies got a dope and, and, name. Yeah, but I mean, can you look her up on in, in, on like Instagram or something? Because uh, her work is just what the what the fuck good. Yeah, well, I'm, be careful. I've, I, maybe I gotta do I gotta find a new artist. What are we doing here? You can. <laughs> no, that's a, oh, that was a hard. You went. You took that serious for like four seconds. I went, Ooh, I, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, you're you're okay. I, I just, no, I you. I, I, I saw your art. <laughs> As soon as I saw your art, I, I specifically asked. No, are you, you <laughs> are you actually saying this to make me feel better now after your your joke? Like, as soon, <laughs> I'm sorry. I constantly. Yeah. Let me see. There's Queen. Of, is it Queen of Eagles underscore art on Instagram or Queen of Eagles? Um, no, I don't know. Probably. I, I think if you if you find her. I don't know, just just pull her up on on Insta or Facebook or something. I think I don't know. We're I'm sorry, looking at. Sorry, Pam. We are now cyber stalking you because I want to show people your artwork. She is also. Oh no, she's is she in the Discord? I don't know. She should be. Huh. Um. But yeah. Um, uh, Dead air. Hey, Say something. Hey, finally able to get your stream. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, though. I mean, it's it. It doesn't matter if it takes a bit before you can join. It's just, it's the idea that you're finally here. So I'm I'm super happy to see you on board. Um, and I was just trying to make everyone go to your Instagram because your art is like, wow. Um, so well, what is the Instagram? Yeah, if if you got a link to your uh, to your Insta or to your Facebook, like where people can find your artwork, please, 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 please share it with us in chat because I want to show I I, I kind of want to show off your work <laughs> on my stream because I don't know it's just beautiful. Is the leg it's, on your it, end or is it just a stream? It's the stream. No, there is a bit of lag, but there's not that much of a lag. Is there? Is there really one, two, three, four, five? Like, yeah, I've got like a half second lag still. Yeah, but half second is is better than like the five second. Between oh, before it was, we had like a two or three second lag the first time we tried this. So, that was yeah, awful. Yeah, and then there was, and it was even desynchronized. Like your your face would move, but your audio would just not come through. And then on stream, that multiplied. Yeah. So it's it's that was uh, that was nasty, but. But yeah, I mean, for everybody who actually just popped in, by the way, um, we're doing a giveaway of the paperback. So Autumn Ray knows this, and she's getting hers uh, already anyway. Um, but for people like Queen of Eagles, um, we are giving away a paperback of the Meet the Cast Technomancer art book. Um, and if you want to enter, just type in exclamation mark join, and you should be able to join. Um, you should just enter the... Um... Holy ball sack. Wait a minute. Is it... Queen underscore of underscore eagles? Could be. Let me let me look. I might I don't know. I will probably recognize it. I don't want to say the I don't want to say the real name that I see on Instagram here because no, I get okay. privacy and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it's uh, do you see the photo of the woman as an avatar? With the painted face, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It, that's, well, that's it's her got artwork. it's got the blue the blue makeup across the eyes yes. and the the yeah that's her looks artwork. like a looks like a like, like a druid. That's what I'm looking at. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah, she's really good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not allowing people to post links. I'm sorry, but we found you anyway. <laughs> um, this is dope. Yeah. 
Queen is really, 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 really good. She's like an example for me. Yeah, like this one. <laughs> this one of like it looks like a a, a a a mystical setting with clock and space and time and constellations. That one's just gorgeous. I love the 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 complementary and co contrasting colors. Like this is awesome. Um, you make me feel like a bucket of shit. Thanks. I'm not sure, Adam, if people are supposed to be able to post links. I think at some point I told Nightbot that it's fine. Um, but I think Nightbot is now saying that it's no longer fine. So stuff got messy. Hey, and who joined the giveaway? It's going to be a, an intense race then because we only have two people <laughs> in the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Is it even, is it, is it, wait, start, start again for another 60 minutes. We'll keep it open for another hour. Well, you gotta do it, you gotta do it to a certain point, you know, like, I mean, I don't know how long, if everybody's gonna stay for the entire stream, blah, blah, blah. You gotta say by this time, this is, you gotta do it by blank and blank yeah. time. You gotta set so, your rules ahead of time. I know, I mean, we're, we, we've been streaming for about an hour. So let's say by the end of the stream, which is usually around two hours, we can draw. Right. Them. That's, that's what we, that's, that's okay. fine, right, right, right. Oh, so all of a sudden, Adam is getting some competition there because we've got more people signing up. <laughs> Yay! Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, though. There we go. Also, I noticed I'm really slow when I'm also chatting a lot, so I'm sorry if this will no, not be okay. a finished piece by the end of the stream. <laughs> It's not gonna hurt my feelings. I know it's gonna be. It's gonna be more. To look to in the book, right? No, this is for those folks. Like, I popped into her stream a couple of days ago, and she's like, "Hey, how's it going?" I was like, I was just checking to see if you're giving away like more free shit that we're trying to sell. And she thought I was actually being mad at her, and we had a private conversation. Like, no, nope, I am just I being just an asshole. Being, like, like, checking. Are you sure this is okay? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it's one of like. So Sandy and I, like, I, we we know that you have to entice folks in. This is like you want an example of something like that. So if you want to back us to the Indiegogo and you want to get the book, I mean, you want to see what's in the book. I mean, it's text. Yeah, it's a story. You know that. Some people have already read the book. and You're not coming back to it to buy a book you've already bought. You're coming back for the, the enhanced product and like all the goodies, which is the art. So you need to see some of that art at, in various states of development. So when you finally have it in hand, you can say, well, this was 30 bucks well spent, you know. And like and then you get like the book plates and the art prints and the PDFs and all the other extra stuff. So uh, it, it, it's I I am a cruel person when I'm not making fun of myself. Right when I'm not making fun of myself or my characters, I have to make fun of my friend. I'm making fun of my friends. Well, that's how you know I like you. If I like you, I pick. But you know, I'm also clearly the someone who makes fun of themselves. Like I constantly rip on myself. And it, that's my false sense of humility. So I have to pick on my friends as well. So. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you always, are you, you son of a bitch. You think, do you think you're kind to me when it comes to like my, my, uh, my warlock's no. fashion sense? That's <laughs> what I thought. All, sir. No, <laughs> nor will Your I. Your honor, I'm not a big city lawyer, but I'm just a fancy country lawyer and i would like the jury to know that she is quite cruel to me on many an occasion so when i dish it back she gets offended she's part of this here culture admin, of admin, internet i'd like to youth. report a mod <laughs> can i can i report mk gibson <laughs> where she picks on somebody else when they pick back she gets all offended this is all bullshit hashtag me too <laughs> you leave my chonky boots out of this equation my warlock like looks great, and you know it. Boots. Yeah, but they're ugly, though. I mean, you know, so you, need you are an asshole. You are a <laughs> you mean need person. In your life to give you the reality check that your guardian in Destiny Two is out of proportion when you wear that boot, those boots. I don't look at my feet, then. Damn it, man, the warlock. It just looks cool. Oh, oh, oh important question in the chat. Important question in the chat. That's horseshit. Okay, so have you just tier four in Indiegogo yet? Okay. Um, you want me to pull it? Not exactly. It up. Sure, go for it. There we go. I pulled it up, especially okay. This, this one is so, for you, Autumn Ray. 
All right, so what we're breaking down here is like, and it's so we want to make this abundantly clear to everybody because some, those who back things like uh, independent comics know that at tier one, you get the comic, and then two, three, four, and everything else is like you get all the extra bonuses. We're doing it a little bit different, so stick with us. Tier one is roughly is five dollars, and that is basically a thank you tier. Your name will go in the book in the thank you section. This could be possible without you. You get that, and you get the digital PDF of the uh, of the Meet the Cast. Tier two, you get uh, what, same thing as tier one. Name in the book, digital PDF, the um, uh, the, the signed uh, book plate. You know, because sometimes like, hey, I want to put this. I'll eventually get the already. I already have a copy of Technomancer. I don't need this, but the signed book plate will be cool. So it's signed by Sandy and I. And I believe you also get. Do they also get the three by uh, the three by five art prints? On tier four, you mean, or on tier three? Tier three. Tier two, tier, tier two. I'm building only up. Only gets the black and white print, which is the postcard right. Size. That's tier two. That yeah. That's 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 yeah. It's three three by five inch, three black and white art prints, the signed book plate, and the PDF and your name in the book. Tier three is where we include the book. Thanks. Ed. And so you get all that and the book. We send that to you. Boom, boom, boom. Tier four, you get all of that plus an additional. Uh, how I forget is it is it one two three I forget how many you get an additional full color is it four by six size or bigger? I will look it up for you right now because I think the the black and white print is only one and the full color print. Oh, you get yeah you get oh, that's right. So tier two you get one black and white three by five print. My mistake. Yes. Tier four you get three larger full color art prints. The book the 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 the. The, uh, the so, book plate, the PDF, your name in the book. Yes, what you're seeing here, what you're seeing on the screen is tier four, which is the one black and white print and the three full color prints uh, that are six by nine. Um, ah, at nine. tier three, go. you do not get the full color art prints, but you do get the black and white art prints um, and the copy of the book. That's like the biggest chain between tier two and three is the copy of the book. Two and three, yep. Yeah. Um, and at tier three, you only get the black and white print, the book plate, and the digital PDF, and of course your name in the book. So there's a bit of a yep. build up. Um, and at this point, on the Indiegogo through the link, you do not get to see the tiers yet. You will only be able to see those once the campaign actually goes live. Um, but of course, I mean, this stream is here to also tell you guys, you know, what you will be up for if you actually go and sign up, which we really hope you do. Um, Right to like the pre-launch of the of the Technomancer, um, yeah. So I mean, we will completely elaborate what is part of Tier One, Two, Three, and Four as soon as the campaign actually goes live, because we are still at like pre-launch here. With it, it's not officially live. Like you cannot click the "I will back this project" right now yet. Yeah, we built it last weekend. Exactly, yeah. and it was a workathon, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was too. <laughs> I got up at seven o'clock my time, mm -hmm. which was one o'clock yours. Something like that. Yeah. Two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's six hours ahead. So oh, shit. seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I got up. At, I actually got up at six thirty my time, drank some coffee, sat down to work from seven. And we worked for the next roughly eight hours building the pre-launch site, adding mm -hmm. images. Cause it wasn't just click, click, click. It was like, we had some images, realized we were wrong, had to resize, refix, re do text. We we, we worked. We worked the, the, the page as we as we right through it. So and, it was, yeah. and we got burnt out by come two o'clock my time. So eight o'clock that night, Sandy's time. We were <laughs> done. Day. It was a long day. You know, you know what? I actually and, I felt um, that weekend for the rest of that week because I was like usually I kind of exhausted, I, I recharge. And I, well, I, I, was I was mentally engaged. Yeah. And then we just got up the next morning and did it again for the till for another like four or five hours just yeah. to like make sure everything was said and done. Crossing I's, dotting T's. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Uh, crossing T's, dotting I's, <laughs> and doing all that shit together. Solid. And and, and it, it, it but it's it's. I mean, it's worth it. It, it didn't feel like it didn't feel like work. I mean, it, we were working. But that's that's the benefit of working with someone that you collaborate well with. Because like I am, I have said it before, and I'm not blowing smoke. I've been blessed to work with you because I've worked with some artists in the past and I stand by an artist or a persnickety bunch. You know, I'm an amateur artist myself and I know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dick. Um, and the same thing with other writers. So we creatives don't always work together. You think, Oh, everybody's creative. No, 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 no. But Sandy and I don't talk over one another. We tend not to anyway, we tend to like be, give each other honest feedback and then 
we definitely do uh, brainstorming things where it's like, here's an idea, even if it's bad, just say it, and we just build off of it. So, mm. and to be fair, I I kind of that's the only way I'm able to do things is is just straight on in your face communication. Like I cannot, I I just do not have the cognitive ability to understand when somebody is just is kindly politely saying no, your idea sucks. I, I I just I don't understand that kind of language. I want you to tell me in my face, Sandy, great idea, but it's awful. So it's actually not a great idea. Shut up. Here's what we're gonna do. That is what I need, and you are very good at that. You're just you're very good at saying shut well, up. Well, I mean, but you've also like <laughs> no, like I mean, for, for some of those who've seen some some of my recent books, um, they've got a different art flavor to them because because I'm I've been doing them myself. I've been teaching myself digital mixed media, and Sandy's the person I go to to say, "What do you think of this?" And she'll say, "I like this. This has legs. Fix this. Change this." Uh, no legs, meaning it actually it can go. Not the not the <laughs> warlock legs, you asshole. Are you still uh, warlock. <laughs> Uh, or like, you know, like fix, uh, you, your, your name should be smaller or fit here. The text should be a little bit larger, fix this here, brighten this color up, but it's, it's, but it's, it, it's, you go to, you don't, you, when your car's broken, you go to a mechanic, you go to an expert. So when you want an expert opinion, you go to the expert mm -hmm. and I don't go to Sandy and say, pat me on the head. I say, you know, tell me what's wrong. You know, this isn't working for me or I like it, but I know something's missing, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. And the same thing, the same thing we do with our writing stuff. So, oh, by the way, you did send me the FYI. I, you sent me the the thing. I haven't looked at it yet, but I will look at it. You, I, it finally came through. Okay. So. Yeah. Cause I put it in a doc uh, file anyway, because also for my editor, it just worked better. In right. A doc I kept trying just, like hell yeah. to get the one note to work. Nah, like my, don't I don't really don't have a Microsoft account. I got the I got an old Hotmail login that get I'm still no, attached okay. to Microsoft just to like get the laptop. So as I don't long as we use one note with the with the Google Doc now. It's fine. Yeah. Also, Audrey, yep. Ray, I am I am shocked by what you're putting in the chat here. Oof the which well, part the the actual the, text? If you don't like the so, story, that's so my if fault. If you don't like it, it's Sandy's fault. Why is it my fault again? Ouch. What have I done? Yeah, I know who's not. Well, if you don't part. like. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like the story, that's my fault. I mean, I failed as my job as a writer. Uh, if you don't like the art, then that's Sandy's fault. I don't want to talk about Dead it. Dead silence. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What can I say? I feel responsible. <laughs> nah. But the art, yeah. If you don't like the art, sure, you can blame me. But I know you do. Well, the thing is, like, once I saw, <laughs> like, once we met and I saw your art in, um, with the Singularian that you were posting in that one Facebook group where we met, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. You know, and it wasn't just the art. It was also just the entire, like, cyberpunk aesthetic design you were doing for the Singularian. I'm like, fuck, I want that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I can't do that. Back, I don't... Looking back at that first piece of fan art that I made for you, I mean, that it's, it's, that was bad, though. I mean, you were very happy. No, 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 no. Rewind. Rewind. No. Tarantino, that shit. We started here. Let's go back to the actual beginning. The first piece you gave me was Tesla. No, we've been there before. You did the it's not true. <laughs> this was the first. Yes, thing. I was right. It was not. That came no. later because we were joked about a cover with watercolors. And that's what you did that. I swear Tesla was the first thing you, you gave me. Let, me. let me. Where did it go? The Tesla bot? Yeah. Was this yes. the first? Let me verify the dates again. Yes. No, I still don't believe it. Every time I don't believe it. I swear we already proved no. me right before. No. <laughs> wait, wait. If I'm right, there's no loading with me. You know that. <laughs> there, there already is. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, Tesla. you think I've been bad before. <laughs> Tesla is... No, I'm not going to say this out loud. <laughs> oh. What, 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 what's the other one? What's the, what's the file called? To be the devil. You just had it up. No. Hang on. Where did it go? To... Oh, there it is. No, I win. Oh. <laughs> so okay. Let's so see. I made, what? I made. I made the 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 the, the, the technical. It's okay. So this one is twenty one June twenty one June twenty first. Okay. Tesla is June twenty fourth. There you have it. <laughs> like I said, the first real piece of fan no, art I got no. was the Tesla bot. <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. 
Fair. <laughs> hey, I'm only, I, I give myself like a 92% uh, success rate. I, 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 8% of the time I'm wrong. And I, I, I cop to that. Still though, I mean, the original idea why we started talking about this one is if you look at this particular image, it's nothing compared to what we are now, what we have sort it, of No, evolved, it's, it still evokes. Now, Mr. Them. Adam asked a question. Oh, sorry. Mr. Sorry, Adam, sorry. Mr. Adam, no, no, it's fine. At oh, Gib, which character did, um, what? All right. Which character did you make mistakes right that needed to be corrected in later books? Ooh. I mean, <laughs> it feels like you already have your answer. What, which one do you think I made a mistake with? No, I don't know. Um, uh, I kind of had a game plan for where I wanted the series to go. So I don't know. I mean, like, I, I'm trying to think what you mean by mistakes. Like, it's the happy accidents. Um, Can somebody do the Bob? No, I, we don't have the Bob Ross happy accident video right now. Right. Uh, <laughs> Like, here's the thing, all the characters eventually evolved, you know, like what I saw them as where I wanted the series to go, but through the course of the writing, they, they kind of took on a life of their own. And sometimes they got, they got, uh, the, they evolved a little bit more. Um, but why, why is there something in particular that you feel? I didn't, I didn't kill Jensen in the first scene. <laughs> I'm like, what is he saying? I mean, I, let me check my notes. No, because no. these are my notes and there was no scene. Chapter one. Oh, you should have. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. You should have killed him. Well, the first scene is is Salem like meeting Maz yeah. and those demons down by the docks. I know. Um, that was Monday's illustration, by the way. Yeah. Which where you you weren't there, so how do you know? No, I was. Remember, I popped in and I asked you, like, no, what are you giving away? you were away? there at Chapter 2. You were there Wednesday. You missed my Monday stream, dude. This feels false somehow. But I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will I remember seeing the picture. Maybe, maybe, maybe you, I know you sent me the picture. I'm like, oh, hell, it doesn't is. matter. Here, this is the one. I yeah, I've this. seen, I saw that. No, I saw you. I, I sent you the final, the final piece. Okay, okay, okay. We're just being an asshole. Go on. You were, you were, you were talking. No, no, that's fine. I'm just trying to figure. Okay, I'll rephrase. Okay, okay. Thanks, Mr. Adam. I apologize if like I want to answer your question, but I want to like it's like part of it. I want to make sure I'm doing it in the right way. Like I don't like because. So do you hmm. do you regret how you wrote any of your characters? Oh, oh. Do I regret any of them? Um. You know that's hard to say because. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can still not unsee that, but yes. Do, do I regret that? Like, um, I don't know. Regret's a hard word. It's kind of like once you do something, you've kind of like committed to it. So, yeah, I I look maybe when I'm done everything, I'll look back. Um, I, I, no, and I I appreciate that, Mister Adam. Thank you. I I think it's one of those scenarios like I had certain key characters that i needed to establish the right way and i know where i know where the story goes for example but i am a mixture between pantser and plotter meaning i don't plot out everything that's in the novel i usually pick say three to five key events that i know are going to happen and like i i know the beginning i know the end maybe two cool moments in the middle kind of like a, an uncharted game and the story i start writing it and i'm going and i'm going and then something will strike me like oh this is really cool or this isn't working and then i pause that story for a while, take out my notebook. And I start just writing notes to myself and it helps me clarify where's, where's going, where things are going because I'm so scatterbrained. I'm not this person that has a giant outline. I don't have a giant flow chart. And when I try that, I feel like I've already seen the story and I don't want to write it at that point because part of the fun for me is discovering it as I'm writing it. Yeah. And then you fix it in the editing process. You go back through and say, okay, if person X here knew this, then why would they say this here in chapter 22? Well, shit, now we got to fix that. And then you go back and you play and you try to plug in your own plot holes because every writer has plot holes, whether they, you know, whether they admit it or not, they, you know, it's kind of like I gave Salem enhanced strength in the beginning, you know, cool. I gave him enhanced senses. Cool. But then someone's like, well, why should, why did he not realize that, you know, the bad guys are sneaking up on him in this later chapter? And that's a fair question. You have to be like, well, if you leave your super senses on at all, all time, you would be like blind, deaf, and dumb because you would smell everything, hear everything, see everything. Your senses would be an overload. 
So the collective filters that out. So when he wants to basically tune in on it, like his senses are picking it up and the collective is like the, the, the buffer. So when he says like, uh, basically turn on smell and like, he's like, starts picking things up or it, it, like so kind of like maybe, maybe opens up his hearing. Clarify what the collective is because I don't think everybody in chat is completely familiar with the book. Oh, okay. If you have it. Okay. So uh, for those who have not read the books, you know, this is set in the, uh, the biblical apocalypse after the biblical apocalypse when i was a kid growing up in the church you know we won't go into religion talk but like the book of revelations fascinated me when i was a little kid when i used to go to church because it's supposed to be like after jesus shows up and like the rapture happens and what's left over is like demons are supposed to take over according to revelations you know it's 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 supposed to be a hellscape and that scared the shit out of me and i always wanted to write, wanted to write a story about a world like that then kirk cameron and, and crew beat me to it with the left behind series so i made mine darker grittier in a cyberpunk world and so after, you know, mankind's here, hell has risen literally, but they're flesh and blood now. The demons, you know, they live, they die, they poop like everybody else, but they're just bigger, stronger, and longer lived. So my character Salem exists in this world, but, you know, if you're, if it, it'd be the equivalent of a toddler trying to like get in the face of like, you know, uh, an, an MMA fighter, it's not going to work. So Salem is cybernetic. He has uh, a nanite collective in his body that like, makes him a little faster, makes him a little stronger, gives him the harder bones. Uh, but it gives him basically parody with demons. He's a, he, he can want the average human, but he is on par with most uh, top side born demons. So I don't want to give him like, I don't make him go super saiyan or the, the full anime way where he's better than everybody else. So his collective is like this conscious AI in his head that augments his system. So it heals him faster. It, um, like I said, makes him stronger, makes him all these things, but Basically, it's preserving it's, itself because the collective itself it is it, want because to the collective exists inside yeah. him. It doesn't want to die, so it's like it's taking care of its host organism, mm -hmm. so because it doesn't want to die. And by the and as the book goes, you know the it's the AI is constantly wants to talk to him, and he's like, I've seen enough sci-fi movies. No way, are you kidding me? I I know what happens. No way. They eventually form a, a better bond and a relationship. You know, he's had it since he was a kid, um, which the story goes into and explains why. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's truly his it is his oldest friend the one that's always been there for him and it's the one that like takes the most damage because as, as salem gets hurt you know however many million nanites are killed off every time salem like gets shot up or blown up or has to stitch himself back together so uh yeah so the collect and as the books go he now has a direct line that he can talk to the collective in his own head well it's in his old body but uh, I think the best way to say it is like I was definitely influenced in hindsight by the episode of Futurama with Fry and the worms. You know, if you, <laughs> okay. you know, you can't. I, you know, you look back on certain things and you can't like, oh yeah, I guess I could see the pair. Like I wasn't on purpose, but it was clearly like designed. Like I was clearly influenced by that particular episode of Futurama, but I just took it to a obviously a different direction with this this heaven and hell shit. So, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite side character from your books? Oh. I did King Bradley. It's the uh, it's the Chimera. Uh, uh, what's her name? The Aggie books. My my Hammer of Witches books. They're, they're all a Techromancer prequel. Fishing for a Grim series. I see your, yes, yes. King I see. Your, I have been fishing yeah, for that but, too. <laughs> well, he's hey, he's in the Hammer of Witches books. Ta da! Witches books. I know. So my the first one of that she, series, she dreams of fire. Work. Like I, I don't have time to read the books because I need to illustrate them. I, just, I keep telling you audiobooks while you listen, but you don't, you won't I listen to me. So, I am uh, physically, I'm, I'm capable of doing that. You know what? I can't is a four letter word. You need to do push ups. Every time you say I can't, I need you to like just okay. punish so yourself let me ask severely. You this. What, what is a higher priority? Me finishing the illustrations for your book or me listening to your audiobooks? Uh, you can do both you, with no. training and practice. I mean, if I got, if I have to yeah, like Yoda, you the production and, process, uh, I, at least at but first, then, you, right, eventually, practice, you eventually yeah. get better, you know? Yeah. Okay, it's like, but, but do we have you the time now with you... the Indiegogo going on? Do we have the time for me to shit around? No, after the Indiegogo is over. All right. King okay, Bradley, so that's King Angela. Hang on. Listen. Mm -hmm. So the Hammer of Witches books is a spinoff thing that takes place before G-Day. It follows the character Chimera uh, from book three, when you met her in the Hitherlands, this is her story prior. You know, she is the daughter of Grimm, which we learned in book three. For those who have not read the books and don't know and don't care, it doesn't spoil anything. <laughs> but it does; it truly doesn't. But this was her life before, 
and I wanted to write a story that was a little darker, <laughs> darker than Technomancer, but I mean, more drama. And people who have read the series say, hey, this is actually a better written, it's a good drama. It's a paranormal drama series. And like, that's, I'm, thank you. Uh, but she's a hemophiliac girl who, um, uh, she she got an, an infusion of blood uh, tainted by witchcraft. So now she sees the things go bump in the night and they see her. Yes. So, um, and it's, People read that when they're like, they don't believe it's the same writer, which is weird. I mean, it's, I've had people that read my Shadow Master books and they're like, I didn't know you wrote Technomancer until I looked at the, I actually saw that you wrote them both because I thought you were just an asshole. Because when they read like, <laughs> they, they, mean, they, are, they read my, vi <laughs> well, when they read my villains books, they think I'm some, it's weird. I get accused of being both alt-right and alt-left, depending I on whose politics or what. Reviews. That was crazy. Yeah. Right. And it, it, I've been accused of being both because of the shadow, because like it's just a cruel sense of humor book that makes fun of everybody. Mm -hmm. And so people think that's my only voice. And they read Technomancer, so like, oh, he's telling an actual like sci-fi fantasy adventure. And then they read Hammer of Witches, and it's like, oh, this is just a a, a paranormal urban fantasy down kind of down to earth-ish you know, within sci-fi fantasy. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I focus more on human emotion in that one versus the action go pew pew bang bang. Uh, but it still has enough action to keep those people happy. And my ha my, my my happiness comes when I have friends who are like these big ass grown men to like, you I made me cry, I'm going to punch you. I yeah, I see that. Uh, I'm working the wrong layer. I'm what? Okay. What, did, what did you done do? I worked in the wrong layer. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> keep going. Keep talking as if nothing ever happens. I <laughs> know. Uh, we're all watching the stakes live happen live. So yeah, uh, Autumn, if you, if you enjoy them, like, like it, I think the first one's on like um, Kindle Unlimited. So if you want to like, it's free, it doesn't, it doesn't cost me hardly anything. So, uh, you <laughs> Thanks, know, it's, if you want to try it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've done that multiple times on my mixed oh, media I projects. Like I started doing like an, Oh my, I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> Fuck, and it always, uh, yeah. Oh well, sorry. Your favorite. No, line. so. I, sorry, you go ahead. <laughs> but yes, so Grimm is in like uh, the Aggie, the Aggie books. Hmm. You know, he's a very long lived guy. And so is Salem's mom. So that's, that's been fun to write her. And like, she's been like, tagged along these adventures. That's kind of like, it's quirky and weird. So, uh, you know, she's kind of like the, the lady, she says she's been studying mythology all her life to find out that the shit's actually real. It's been freaking her out. So mm -hmm. it's, it's been fun to write her as well. So, but both series have had a, I've been building towards a secret enemy for a very long time in both series. And they're slowly coming to fruition in both series. So I've had to, I had to write them very carefully and thread that needle as to like, one won't spoil the other until they're roughly about the same time. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it sounds actually kind of difficult to also keep track of all that. Um, it's one of the few things that my stupid brain can maintain. Like, I don't know my son's birthday. I mean, I had that written down for a reason. So, but I can tell you my stuff. No, I was kidding. <laughs> so be so. honest. So is it really that weird then when I say I cannot listen to an audiobook and draw at the same or do anything else at the same time where you're like, well, I can write five multiverses. And well, it's, all, it's, 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 no, I, it's, no, no, I do know my son's birthday. I'm teasing. Of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't ruin it. But it's, it's, I, I get it in that, like, when my wife looks at me, she's like, how can you just not read the instructions and put the uh, bookshelf together? I'm like, how can you not look at the pictures and put the bookshelf together? The pictures tell you what to do. She's like, that confuses me. I need to read the instructions. Like that, that might as well be Greek. It makes no sense to me. I need to see the visualization of the thing. Yeah. So we, it's, it's just, we come at, we have different strengths. And obviously you and I have different strengths. And yes. I think we lean on each other's strengths uh, to to supplement our weaknesses. So that's all. <laughs> that will be all. <laughs> that's it. Good talk. Sure. Good, good. Thanks for joining my <laughs> TEDx, guys. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Now, this is, of course, also on a wrong layer. But now this is in my my advantage because I can actually delete shit. Here. Look at me. Going my other, I don't know if you saw, like, it was on Twitter, but, like, I keep getting all these messages, like, oh, I'm like, I, my Twitter's blowing up. It's not because I did anything. My one friend, Eric Canetti, the artist, tagged me in that, uh, uh, he drew a picture of a G.I. Joe yeah. character I like. He's like I and it's like, but it's, yeah, it's a dope picture, but my Twitter's been blowing up. Like, but it's like notification, notification. It's not for me or anything I did. I'm like, well, shit, I don't want to. It's just because you're in there. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, and I okay. love the no, picture. No, no, here's tactics. Skip, here's tactics. How can we make Eric tag 
one of us for the for the Indiegogo in his oh my Twitter God. because he no. gets a lot of traffic there. He does. Well, that's one of the, that's, that's what you beg, borrow, and steal. Like I, here's the thing: I can probably send him a private message. Hey, would you be so kind as to just retweet one of my things once? Be- like I, it's not like I did like 30 episodes of a show with him, you know. Uh, you know, so I think we have enough of a, a relationship where I can ask that question Do without it. feeling too dirty. Why haven't you done it you yet? Know? Because it's still the pre-landing page. I want to get closer. You know, it's one of those like I don't want to send a bunch of traffic to the pre-landing page and then like then they forget about it. No you know, it's all about timing. Better. True, true, true. Right. It's all about timing. True. Once we get closer to the actual launch, hmm. I think, or or after it launched, really, you know, I think that is where it's kind of like I've got a lot of indie art art friends and a lot of indie author friends, and I haven't leaned on that yet either because I obviously I want people to go there to the to uh, oh, what I think we we shortened it so it's like indiegogo.com slash technomancer. I think we'll take you there as well. No, I'm not sure. The easiest way right now, if you just want a very short URL, just go to sandybutchers.com slash technomancer because that will instantly redirect you to the Indiegogo, which is a really, really long URL. So, um, uh, yes, it is. Yeah. So sandybutchers.com slash technomancer, it will take you there. Or just type in exclamation mark technomancer in chat and then um, not Mr. Nightbot will actually give you the right link to just to click on so either way works all right uh mr adam asked me give what's my favorite anime that's a tough call sir my all-time all-time favorite anime would be robotech i grew up on that that taught me what storytelling should be um because unlike other morning cartoons for kids you start to love a character and they kill it now i know that's very common in modern anime anime but in the 80s when i was growing up that was unheard of. And I still get misty when I think about the character Roy Foker uh, dying because uh, you came to love him and he was, but you also understood that in order for the Rick Hunter character to like become more, you had to kill him. Like you can't, like Luke can't be Luke. To, to propel. Well, it's like Luke Skywalker can't be, be Luke Skywalker as long as Obi-Wan's kicking around. You know, True. you got to kill Gandalf for Frodo to like find his courage. You've got to kill your mentors. And, uh, and that's an unfortunate rule of writing that hurts, but it, it, it's, it's pervasive and it lasts because it's mm-hmm. true. You, otherwise, your character, your lead characters never, ever find their inner strength because they always have a safety net. Uh, so Robotech has my, always been my number one favorite anime for that reason. Um, recently, my son and I got back into anime because um, I grew up like I watched you know, Vampire Hunter D and Ninja Scroll and some of the classics. But then I joined the military and I, I went around the world. And I wasn't I'd have time for anime came back to it find out years later everybody's into it and i'm like i so far behind and not to mention i must say this kindly so that any fan out there don't get pissed off anime fans are fucking weird and like every time i'm working at a convention if i don't understand a costume it's either league of legends or anime and i'm afraid to ask because if i dare ask i get the i get a, a, nothing's worse than a 21 year old roll their eyes at me and say oh this is from doki okay, doki 13 x7 <laughs> Yeah, it's well. This predates okay, Boomer, but yeah, oh, yeah they're like, how, how do you not? How do you not know what you know? And they say it in such a condescending way. I'm like, well, go fuck yourself. You know, uh, I don't say that, but you know, I think it real loud. <laughs> but I've gotten back into it because my son's now a, a, a weeb in training. You know, we're not weebs. We're not. We don't want to pretend like we're Asian or anything like that. That's we don't appropriate. But we are appreciating things. So my son and I, we watched um, uh, My Hero Academia together, and we love that Attack on Titan. Uh, Chainsaw Man. Um, I tried, I got, I watched the first season, the one that Ari Futura, that someone recommended to me, and it was cool, but it also got a little harem-y, and people are like, like, well, it's not a harem one. I'm like, it kind of is. There's a lead dude, and it's like, there's, he's got like nine girls that follow him around that all want to sleep with him. So it's kind of, it's still a cool anime, but I, I, that, that part, it doesn't, doesn't do, it doesn't, isn't my uh, jammy jam. Uh, what else am I watching? Uh, Fire Force was kind of cool. Uh, a few others, you know, like we got my son and I got Crunchyroll. My mom gave us a year's uh, subscription to Crunchyroll, so we we've been burning through that a lot. Cool, something for us to bond over. No, I have not watched Berserk yet, and it's actually on my on my to get back to list. It's one of those I missed during the time. I've heard nothing but fantastic things. It's kind of like how I didn't watch Cowboy Bebop till years later, and then I tried to watch the live action. I'm like, I this isn't for me. The, um, the live so berserk is all my to do yeah 
Well, I've heard some people say they like it, and they said it's very much like the anime, but I don't think anime should directly translate to live action in the same style because it looked like a knockoff Tarantino movie. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I don't know Berserk, so I can't make that comparison, but I will make time to watch it. How's that? Um, but Adam, I don't know. do you mean in, in terms of graphics? style no it's that's a stupid question because you know the style i mean you are practically watching it never mind i'm done uh if you mean like grit like i the 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 first book or two well actually yeah but they got a dark sense to them they all do um in fact I, I think, if anything i keep sorry go ahead i keep making them darker because you you the pervasive theme of the entire technomancer series is hope but hope doesn't exist when things are good. Hope only exists when things are bad. And the worse it gets, like the more you have to look for that light, like you're underwater swimming upwards, you've got to look for that light. And Salem is constantly underwater. Every time he thinks he's one step ahead, he's actually like, he's just ready to step into the next pit. So um, uh, like, I like him because he's the kind of character that like, as soon as he starts feeling like confident, I'm going to punch him in the face. Every time he starts getting a little ahead, I'm going to knock him down. Uh, I learned that from when I was reading the Robin Hobb books. For those who've never read the Farseer uh, trilogy, especially, the lead character Fitz is so cool, and then he's he's getting confident, he's getting strong, he's getting better, and then the villain poisons him, and he loses all his muscle, loses all his mass, and has to rely on his intellect versus the strength he'd been building. And it's just a, and he never really shakes it, and it's a, it's a, it breaks your heart as a reader. I don't go that far with Salem, but I do some pretty messed up things to him, like mm -hmm. really messed I mean, even up. In the first book already, I was like, what? what? Oh, w without a doubt. And the things like that, a lot of that shit, like I said, came from when I was um, going through various states of depression when I was living up in Alaska. When I was stationed, when I was stationed up there, it was dark, I was cold and alone. And like some of the original days of Salem were born in those times when I was drawing and keep myself entertained and like writing little stories for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like how do you exist in a world where no man is an island, but you desperately want to have friends back in your life? And, you know, so playing with those things and trying to keep it lighthearted, like he tells jokes because that's how he copes. He, he acts like a child despite being over 200 years old, because if you, I, I don't like vampires that are yeah. right, but it is was also like my favorite old people are the ones who used to act like children. They have mischief in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, I hate the vampire novels where some guy's like a thousand years old and he's still crying over some dead girl from 400 years ago about his one true love. That's bullshit. I don't remember people I, I went to high school with, let alone like like something for 400 years ago. I don't accept that. I hate that kind of trope. So mm -hmm. I like an immortal who has a sense of humor because it you're always seeing and doing new cool things. Boredom does set in. That sucks but you are always experiencing something more and adding a little sense of like childlike wonderment i think adds to the character as long as you balance it out with of course there's gonna be moments of depression of course there's gonna be moments of anger there's gonna be dark times you know when you go to bed at night and you're and you're by yourself and you'd rather be out with your friends you know how can you not feel sadness so salem encompasses all those feelings but i put it in an action adventure style novel you know, every time I think about that, and you know, and we talk about that, I remember right. that 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 one review you got, where somebody just said oh. this character has no personal development whatsoever. It's bland. It's shallow. It's like, and I'm like, I'm listening to all this, and I've read the book. I mean, for goodness' sake, I have read the book. You know, right. Um, <laughs> And I'm just thinking, like, have you, how, how have you been reading this book? Was it, was the book up your mom hole? Was the book upside down? Was the, I mean, how can you say that Salem is not going through any, any personal growth or development as a character? Because it's, it just, it does not compute. Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it could, I mean, there's a million different things. One, I could be not as, uh, you could just like be wrong. And I think, and I'm wrong. So we can go with that. Maybe, um, yeah. we could also go with, we could also go with like, what's the, I forget the psychological phenomenon is called, but it's like, if you're a cheater, you accuse everybody else of cheating. If you're a liar, you accuse everybody else of being a liar. You know, you're just reflecting back your own content. All right. It's, it's not a cont. I forget who it was. Uh, the guy, uh, uh, fuck. What's the, uh, Carl Jung. 
uh, Jungian uh, 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 psychology talked about the shadow, where you project your own shadow onto uh, other people. It's like your own faults you you place them onto others. Yes, it's a projection, Mr. Mm-hmm. Adam. Uh, and so he might he might not have developed as a person, so he does not seeing it in others. Or he could also just be contrarian. If someone else really likes it, like I don't get the hype. Hey, listen, man, I get that. There are movies and books and shows where the hype is so huge, and I hear the hype, and I watch the thing, read the thing, consume the thing, and I'm like, and all you get is this is yeah. <laughs> right. And it because it, that's why the thing is, I never want to hype up my own shit because I don't want to like oversell it, you know, because I want to, I want a real experience. Like, I want to sell a million copies, it'll never happen, but I also can't be that guy, like, it's the best book you're ever going to read. My god, it's to a reinvention fair, of 80. Yeah, this Indiegogo project is the best project in the world, and it's the best thing you will ever have in your head. Oh, everything else sucks ass, you know, exactly. we are number one, so- everybody else is. Every other person is two or lower, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Be realistic here. This is this is the truth, people. This is the truth. Also, Adam, I saw like you said, um, I'm a fuss quiet, as in like my microphone audio dropped, or I'm just not talking that much. Is that what you're saying? (laughs) I mean, I'm letting give you all. Maybe they want. Maybe they want you to draw more fur. Give him some fuzzy boots. And I won't, because this is Salem. Some fuzzy chunky boots. I'm, oh, I'm actually, I can I'm, retcon I'm that shit real away. fast. I'm toiling away to get this thing done at the two-hour mark, and I only need to do the spiders and the building, and I say that's like, I need to only do this, but I will, f- my God, probably not get this done today. No, I think but my also, favorite, I only I only have to do this, is when you were doing Grimm in his study with all those books, and you looked at how many books you still had to shade and do, you're like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, I up. only have to do all these books. I only have to do all these books. Yeah, and that, that was a two-parter. That ended up as a two-parter. Where is the grim? Damn right. Grim, 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 grim. I mean, you still got the spiders to do and the building. Not the lights. One. Not that one. Uh, grim yeah. in his study. It looks like he's wearing a, a smock. Yeah, I know exactly uh, which one you mean. Uh, archive? No, it's in full color. Volume about 70% gives. Oh, you're. I guess you're not coming in as clearly for some reason. I hear you just fine. Yeah. I mean, I'll move my mic back. Maybe I'm too loud. No, you, you could. I don't know. I, I can actually dial up my gain as well. I don't know. Where did I put that thing? Jeez. I don't. I, I have so much. This folder <laughs> of the Technomancer Commission is, is taking up about a quarter space of my external hard drive at this point. I just have so much, so much stuff in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start looking at it at an external hard drive myself with my art projects and start deleting the ones I don't like anymore. Hmm. But where? Oh, this one. Here it is. Here we go. Zoom in. Make in biggin. This is hundred percent. Yeah, with all the bottles and books in the back, which then get the lens blur, so you don't even see the details yep. anyway. But the thing is, you know, I, what I really like, and this, and this is why I do it, because I work, I, I draw everything out in the full detail, no matter if I know from the beginning on that this will be blurred, I will draw it anyway, because this is the reason why the light bounces off so well, is because the details are actually there. It, it, it's the same effect as taking an actual photograph, which will capture all the details, but you get the little, like the, the, um, the depth of field going on. So it yep. has the details yep. from the real image, from the real life to work with and then blurs it. So in, in this case, in this particular illustration, this worked out really well, or at least I'm very, very happy with it. Um, so, you know, even though I, I, it took me hours to even draw, to even shade that rock wall behind him. Um, and then there's pretty much nothing left of it, but it, it is because of that that this illustration works. I, I'm still very happy with this one. And it's not even going into the book. <laughs> Hell, I forgot to put this one into the art book. <gasps> should have been in there. <laughs> yeah, it should. I thought it was. I thought, I thought it was no. like, I thought it was in the, no, no. One of the pages, I swear to God, it was, it's it was grim. It was on the, the outline, background. Isn't it? Was it just the outline? It was, it was the outline. I mean, oh, like there the is outline. a sketch. Yeah, there it is. Here, 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 here. Yeah. There we go. Is it here? I don't know. I can't. Yep, it's in there. It's in there. It's the middle one. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Every time I can still just leave through this thing and actually, actually really like it. 
even though I made it myself. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe I got a little ego trip going on here, but it's just, I don't know, I like it. Okay. Do you ever do that, look at your own artwork and go, God damn it. I rarely do, you know, but with this book, I don't, I, I, first, okay, so confession. It's confession time, people. Sit up straight, hold on to your bum holes. Um, I am my biggest critic. Like, I, I really struggle to look at my work and say, well, you know what? Good job. Um, with the Technomancer work, I am a bit more comfortable, like more confident. And then we made the little artwork book, like the thingy that I just showed. And I can leave through that and just think it's worked out pretty well. And it's been years. It's been years since I actually have been able to do that. Like not even with Singularian. I don't know. I just didn't happen. But with the Technomancer, for some reason, I'm happy. So it's that's a, good. It's a, I mean, I, it works for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very happy about that. I'm glad it does, sir. Because <laughs> we would have had a different stream now if that was not the case. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. All right. So yeah. Um, so what do I do? The building, or do we do one of the spiders, or the, the ants? You no. You've got 18 minutes. 17 minutes. You're going to do this into a two-parter or not finish. I think we should just talk some more. Give these people, like, because we lost a couple of people. We're down to five viewers. What happened? We were up, we were at 10 at one point. I blame me. Uh, do a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just switched to the chat screen. So I'm going to take, like, I'm going to take a break from drawing for, for a couple of minutes. And we'll see what, what I dive into. Um, in any case, uh, Queen, if you want to see the spider, and if, if I cannot get this illustration done today, you know, that's kind of your, your call to action to join me on another stream. Because, <laughs> oh shit, what am I doing? My old computer. I don't know. You guys can see that, but my computer just blew up. There oh. we go. Because I needed to save my file. This is also a thing. I <laughs> There's always been people in chat actually reminding me, Sandy, save the file. <laughs> For the love oh, of nice. God. And all that is sanity. Just save the file. Because I just forget. I forget you. I tend to <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I've we're done getting that. I've done that with writing sometimes. I get to a certain point, like, oh shit. And then like something crashes. I'm like, well, there's a chapter gone. Start mm -hmm. over. I've had that with half books, you know, that's, that's, that's bad. Yep. And, 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 okay. So I used to, whenever, when I started writing, I was like, I don't know, whatever, this teenage kid. And I, I had this Windows 95 laptop hammering down. And then it crashed because it's what it does. Right. And then it was gone. And then people told me, well, you know, you, sh you, you should make partitions on your hard drive so that when, you know, when one thing goes wrong, it's still on a partition. So I did, you know, I, I took the advice and I created um, a little partition and then the partition crashed. And then, and then like that was a couple of years later, people go, yeah, but you know what, partitions, partitions are old. You should buy yourself a USB stick or like an external hard drive. So you know what? Sandy bought herself an external hard drive. Well, guess what, bitches? The hard drive crashed, so I lost my work again. And then people were like, "No, no, no! You don't do, you don't do, we don't do that here. Like external hard drive, that's old, girl. You need to put it on a cloud." And now, for some reason, like this is all that, like the accumulative of ten or fifteen years of work that's been lost and gained and lost and gained. So I have this automatic control S thing going on in my fingers right now. So I just. I typed control S, type control S. It, it's, but for some reason, when I'm writing, that happens. When I'm drawing, it does not. So I'm always very happy right. with people in chat to go, Sandy, save your work. And I'm like, ha, you got it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's my twisted brain. Now, <laughs> oh, I, 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 save, I save constantly uh, now because I'm mm -hmm. tired of like, because I've had to rewrite. Like I was, I was, I was even like trying to like uh, one of my friends in one of their, their Facebook groups. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I got permission to put like, uh, it's a podcast group, and like you know, they, I I know one of the guys. And he's like, yeah, you can you can advertise your stuff on there, and I put like you know our Indigo go on there. But like I had to write it four times last night because it kept crashing for whatever reason. Facebook just just kept cra like would not put it on there, <laughs> and I'm like, I, no. it's, <laughs> yeah, I get, I I had to start like. Get how much you're written out and save. It was every time I tried to upload the video, because mm -hmm. I was trying to do the, the, the mm -hmm. video you did, and like that's what made it crash. So eventually, I just had to I just had to link it to the IGG page directly. I had the link in there, mm -hmm. but I eventually just just screw it. I can't. The video is on the link. They'll get there eventually. 
don't try to put this all the way because it, it I don't, I'm so frustrated last night because I was like, I'm not writing this goddamn chapter or this, again. this, this paragraph another, again. And, you know, and, and that happened to me also many times. And you know what? I actually taught myself before I hit send and, and something crashes, I always do a control A, control C, just select the whole text. Yeah. So when it crashes, you just go control V and it's in there. And, and again, it's like one of these things it's been drilled into my system yet for some reason with my art pieces <laughs> these shit things the best happen. is like yeah. my wife i love her god bless her she's a great lady you know <laughs> and she's not here what i'm about to say next she if you ever want to see the de-evolution of man if you want to see mankind de-evolve into a primitive primate form <laughs> where they want to smash uh the thing with the bone of an enemy that's my wife whenever something technological does not work she doesn't like oh what's the problem and immediately starts like she doesn't like go to like oh let's take a look things. here she's like oh my god she's like why is this stupid thing it just it's not doing the and she just just monkey smash and like she gets and like it's so quick too and i'm just like i look at my son he starts to giggle i'm like mm, shut up shut up Maybe it's not the right you, moment. Trust me, you've only been you've only been around here for eleven years. You don't know how bad this is going to get. Just shut the fuck up, sit back, and watch, <laughs> and say nothing. Just just indulge, like just take it in, take it all in. <laughs> right. Like, oh my god, it's like so. It, it she is not like a tech person. When when something does not go right, she doesn't start to assess the the the, the problem or run a diagnostic or mm. like, like the if then mental flow chart of a what could possibly be wrong nope machine is now possessed by bad voodoo spirits and must be excised through violence and cursing and <laughs> <laughs> i can see the logic though <laughs> i can, I can kind of see how that works and i you know what this sounds like a book on its own <laughs> oh my god like she's a teacher and she's a, she teaches middle school English, and she loves her students. But man, you want to hear teachers like what they don't tell you about your teachers is like when they go home and they got to grade your bullshit, and like <laughs> a couple glasses of wine in the stuff I've heard my wife say about kids. Wow, I've been a teacher for wow. ten years. I think I think I know how that works. <laughs> I, Are you? I mean, aside from the curse, I think she said to the one like, "Thank God you're pretty because you're dumb as fuck." <laughs> yeah it's it's just sometimes just not pretty like you know when you go okay oh. kid you at least got one point for spelling your name correct you know <laughs> yeah and i'm glad uh -huh. and then at yep. that point you you even feel some some pride for the fact that a kid managed to spell his name correct it's oh man i've seen it all i've, yeah. I've seen it all and well, i'm an art teacher like, like I, kids, I got stick figures for for portrait right. um assignments or i mean oh man well, I mean, it's also these kids think they can get away with plagiarism. Like my wife doesn't have same. Now here's the time. The one time she's good with technology is like running the program to see if they just, she runs it against every other essay she's ever had to see if like, you know, one of her, she like, Hey, she just got, this kid got it from their, their older sibling or mm -hmm. they steal it from wherever. And like, she, she could run that, those programs to, to check for plagiarism. And she's like, oh, you dipshit. Did you think you were going to get caught? You know, like, oh, God, I or, love this and, Or when a kid really tries and they just copy paste shit off Wikipedia, but they forget that Wikipedia has like this text marker, like the, the, the a different color. That oh, is yeah. Not white. And they and they don't see that. And the first thing you do is select the text. And you're like, ah, bitch, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. And you give them back. You're like, yeah. no, yeah. no, man, you failed this assignment hard. It's just I don't like it. All right, I'm so there's not. 10 minutes left in the stream. Who are you going to give this book to? Who are you going to give the, the print copy of this thing? Well, I don't, the, I don't give cast. anything. I need to draw a winner from the... From the well, that's what I'm saying. Draw. 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 See, who's left? Is everybody left? still it's in like, chat? Is, is everybody still in who chat? Is? Like, everybody who signed up? Because I think we have... We have oh, I got it. Probably not. We were down to five viewers. I think you're one of them. And I'm still there. Yeah, it's probably Mr. Sure. Adam is there. I think Queen of Eagles is still there. She, she entered, I think. Didn't uh angelo also enter yeah I believe. so we've got three people oh who also entered by the way that's right who did who who oh who right 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 right. yeah he did oh then we're doing a, okay, who's the so first I'm thing gonna, i'm gonna do the own 3d thing and it's picking a random winner and it's queen ooh, queen of eagles queen of eagles you won you won what can i say Yay. 
<laughs> now, Mr. Now, what's what is to stop the people who back us at any tier to get their copy of the PDF from printing this on their own and making their own book? What? Say that again. What's to stop anybody who backs us at any tier on the Indiegogo who is going to get the free PDF of the book? Why would you want to bring this up? Why would you want to bring this up? So they at least have the option. Why? We already talked about this. Didn't no. We? We, I don't know. No. So make it, okay. okay. <laughs> Never mind. No, of course. No, no. I mean, if you want. I mean, it's a PDF file, so you can go to any printer and say, print this PDF into a little book. You can, if you want to. Fine. You could also it's just not gonna buy be, the book from it, me and actually support a Star Wars oh. artist. Right? Oh, well, I, I mean, mean. Or go to, their, go to their Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Well, no, because it's like. Printing the PDF doesn't get them the cool cover. It doesn't get them the extra stuff. It's not going to get really anything. Nice. Exactly. I mean, the cover isn't even in there. But so yeah. But anyway, right. anyway let, let me just let me let me get like to business for for a quick second because Queen of Eagles won. Um, Queen. Yeah. So it. I mean, we happen to have each other on Discord. So what I will do next is I will as soon as we stop the whole stream and if I get myself something to drink because oh my god, like this stuff turned me into a cactus. But anyway. Um, I will send you a DM on Discord so we can. Um, I will get your address and everything, and I will just send the uh, the thing to you. Do you want me to sign it, by the way? Publishing from the PDF. Did like you sign my, the one you allegedly mailed to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> then because no one else. No. No. Nope. Really? I no. no no Queen of Eagles. No. Nope. <laughs> if I don't get it. <laughs> Yes, I will. No one does. Dude, you get the book plate. You get a hundred signed book plates for me. So you can you can put hundred I've got to sign and send back. This is bullshit. Do it. You know what? Put your own autograph in there. Send it back to me. I will put mine in there. And then, and then I will send it back to you. <laughs> no, you got it. I will sign it, of course. So Queen, I will, I will definitely sign it and ship it to you. So I will, I will reach out to you on Discord. And then we will get it sorted. Because um, this thing is coming your way. Um, also, thanks everyone for um, for taking part in the giveaway. I mean, it's always chances of actually winning are actually pretty big because we don't have so many viewers and we don't have so many people entering. Right. Free. So, like everybody who actually went in there, thanks so much. I like I really appreciate it. Um, and you know what else? I would really, really, really appreciate it. Give you can finish this one. <laughs> finish what? Finish what? Like what would we really, really appreciate? Oh, I thought you said finish this part. Go to the Indiegogo, sign yeah. up for the, uh, go to the pre-launch page, click the little like, I, yes, I accept, blah, 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 send me all their shit. So you'll get updates whenever we make them. You'll know when the things go live and hopefully you support us when the Indie, Indiegogo actually goes live. Remember, some people don't want to support Amazon directly because that's where the book will eventually be published. But mm -hmm. for, for the tier three, get the book for $30 plus all the extra art plus everything else. Your name goes in the book as a thank you. I will, I will pull up right. tier four one more time. And you get to bypass, we have to deal with Amazon, so you don't have to, you know? So don't worry about that. Ta-da! You'll, you'll get, All the images you'll get more for less if you support us at tier three or, or higher or on the Indiegogo. Let me switch back. I'll switch back to the tier view. So yeah, I mean, Let's be honest here. Am I going to finish two spiders and a brick building in five minutes? No. No, I know. <laughs> and I will not. So this is going to be... Because if you, if, you, if you rushed it, I'd stop you. Like, stop. Whoa. Stop, stop fucking up this drawing, man. Yeah. No, this is going to be uh, what you call a two-parter. So let's see. My usual schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for stream. Um, so this will probably... <laughs> if Gib allows it, <laughs> be streamed on Monday. Or Gib, what we could do is Go like if it. I if 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 something becomes a two parter, I can stop at the one part and then just do an next one and say buy the book because that's when you get to see the final result. Like what what do we do? Whatever you whatever you feel, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna twist your arm one way or the other. If you want if you want to finish it on Monday, go for it. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I don't even know yet. Um, it's funny. I see I see Queen of Eagles say you draw so fast. The thing is the thing is I draw. My, my, my drawing times are, are awful. Like that takes me a couple of hours, but my shading actually is pretty damn fast. Um, and that is because, well, I'm not gonna say that is because I'm, <laughs> it's just because I'm good. You know, what can I say? But um, 
I did the whole technique thing with the, the Singularian as well. Um, so basically, it took me two years to refine my techniques into something that I can actually mass produce relatively quickly. So, um, yeah, it's, the shading process is pretty fast, uh, but the style allows it. Like, this is not hyper realistic. This is not like the amount of, right. just compare it to your work, the amount of detail that is in your work is skyrocketing compared to what hey, I have Sandy. in the amount of details. What, what, what? Sandy, take, take the goddamn compliment. Oh, I didn't even see the compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> You see that? You see that, folks? You see that, everybody? You used to. Let's not go there. <laughs> I'm, I'm like when someone reaches out to me and says they like the book, I'm like, you're lying to me. No, you didn't. You... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> go away. Just buy the sequel. Stop giving, stop giving me compliments, but buy the books anyway. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Leave a review. I don't need to know you wrote a review, but because <laughs> I don't need compliments. No. I, 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 I appreciate that, Queen. I really do. Um, Four stars and higher. Anything under that, I don't want to know. I don't care. I, don't I mean, I, I, I know they bad. exist. I've read them. Yeah. It will get bad and uh, banned and reported. So just four and up. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, shall we call it, dude? I think we should. Uh, we, I think you know, we, we, we got we some destiny to play. <laughs> we do. Well, we didn't have to tell them that. I was like, like we well, do. no, the need to go go to something. It's <laughs> time is coming. Screaming because I got a fucking GM to run. So you can all fuck off and I will just play again. No, that's not how this works. But I think, I mean, we've been here for two hours. We and I, you, you also misspoke Iron Banner. So you, you, you well, misspoke. you can play Iron Banana. I'm going to run a GM with Crypto. No, we got, I, I, I got to, I want to, I want to finish this GM with you. We'll, we'll exactly, knock it out. Exactly, which is exactly what I was thinking. Oh, look at that. So Adam is now going to, going to ask, will we, will, so, will we be streaming the GM? The answer is hell no. So nope. we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, Adam, I agree. GM is better than Iron Banana. No, 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 Adam. This is where we're going to d defer. Like, I love PvP, you know, and I <laughs> drag Sandy kicking. <laughs> I drag, I drag Sandy that kicking and screaming every time because it's like whenever the game it gets repetitive because you've played this before, you played this before, you played this level, you played this level. Playing against PvP, it's like it's it, the human element will always be different. I mean, they have similar trends, but like you will have to deal with the human element and have to be think on your toes, and that's why I like PvP. The only, the only moment i liked pvp was last week where we just had the in clan like the in-game little gig with six yeah, oh, yeah. Was it, 10 10 folks of our own group and we were just shooting each other and it was a sick amount of fun. that was fun because everybody was just fun. kept shooting me and it was just kind of part of the deal <laughs> that <laughs> also fun. was a lot of fun that was hysterical yeah <laughs> but yeah um let's wrap it technomancer indiegogo Go type in exclamation mark Technomancer. And we would really, really appreciate you signing up for that newsletter so that you'll be the first to get a notification once the thing actually goes live. Um, if you've already done that, thanks. You rock. We love you. Um, we will be, I mean, we, we will be hyping the, sh we'll be hyping the shit out of this thing as, as we get closer and closer and closer. Oh, and yeah. we go I mean, on I will be the red about this stuff every stream. So you might as well get rid of it right when now. We, when we, be... and when we go on the red, we'll be going on a stream of friends over at Red Valkyrie and they'll be yes. hosting us when we, when we yep. go live and we'll hit the button live on their show. And then mm -hmm. it'll be an active Indiegogo. And the, the thing is, if we can get uh, a certain amount of funding uh, in, in the, the first, first 24 hours, 24 hours then it, uh, the Indiegogo will go to the front of the Indiegogo page for a period of time. So it, like it gets more eyes on. And yeah. again, like this, the whole point of this is not, like, it's not really, it's, we want to like give people a better value, a way to go around Amazon, even though we have to use them as the, the pr as the printer, because it's just more cost effective that way. Mm -hmm. it, it, we know it sucks, but some people, but by doing it this way, you get a book, you get art, you get these things. Uh, and Andy uh, and, and Sandy and I splitting the profits, it, it, it basically goes back and like paying each other for like, this has been a labor of love, not a labor of profit so far. It so it's just, it, it's just been like to recoup what we've already done. It's mm -hmm. not to make, it's not really to make money. So. No, I mean, I lost these years of my life already. So, you know, no money can make up. For it. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I mean, well, am I lying? <laughs> No, I mean it's like it's 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 one of those like when I'm when I'm on these streams and talking and doing things like I'm not writing other books during this time, so it's I, I 
we 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 are both making sacrifices for this project that we love. Uh, you know, you're yeah. you know, my stupid words, your amazing art, and hopefully they, we can bring something together that people will enjoy. So yeah, right. And on that note, um, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for uh, following and subbing and whatever else happened. Um, um, who even cheered a bit? So thanks, thanks very much for that. Um, next stream most likely going to be Monday, so um, stay tuned on Twitter and Facebook, whatever. I will always announce whenever I go live. Um, thanks, Git, for being there. It's always a lot of fun. We will My be pleasure. doing another one My of the streams, always. I think, in a couple of weeks. So prepare. Yep. Um, and other than that, guys, see you later. Bye bye. Bye.